Hi, welcome to XCOM 2. This is, uh, minor spoilers abound, but it's the mission where the Avenger is downed and you've got to destroy like a pulsing thing which is keeping it on the ground. So, uh, and you keep getting people sent out of the Avenger. I thought I'd show you my team just while I'm uh, doing the intro, but you can pretty much play this mission indefinitely. I only gave up because the frame rate became basically unusable. Uh, with all the corpses, the physics uh, on them, even on broken corpses, keeps them still wobbling and it just had to calculate too much stuff, I guess. I got a 970, but this game is not brilliantly optimised at the moment, but you can see the team there. And we had Freddy the Lancer, who I mind controlled early as well, who actually been quite useful. I think he got a handful of kills. Um, the relay itself, I chucked a grenade on top of the roof of the garage nearby because uh, there's a sector pod over there somewhere. Because that sector pod and another were on the roof, and then the fire spread and eventually took out the relay on their own, so I didn't get nearly as many um, guys out of the Avenger as I thought I would. I don't know if 10's the limit, but I was hoping to see how long it would go. I had no intentions of destroying the relay. Uh, but you can actually do it pretty easily with a sniper, uh, a Psy dude who's got Inspire and a ranger with plus four mobility, just run them concealed immediately to the thing and have a sniper shoot it with blue screen rounds and then you can bug out. But as you can see I went about 38 rounds, there's an awful lot of corpses here. Um, once they start sending in reinforcements it tends to be mostly heavy mechs in there um, and they'll drop to basically four places, one on top of the ridge that you just saw, one down here which seemed to be the most popular in mine at least, there's about 50 bodies in there and you can see the uh, mech corpses still wobbling around, lying on top of each other. Um, I say corpses, 50, I don't know, shells, whatever. Um, yeah, one over to the right, um, you can see that smoke there, they come down there quite often, and then one just up to the left, um, we'll have another look at some of those corpses as we fly back around here. But the thing is, as long as you've got a couple of snipers with lightning hands and face off and fan fire and blue screen, you can deal with the mechs really easily. Just stick everyone else on Overwatch to destroy the officers and lancers who land with the guys. And then just have the uh, snipers run from left to right, depending on where everyone is. Um, you can see most of the cover's been blown out at this point, um, either by me or by the enemy shooting at me. But I didn't actually even end up taking too much damage. I can't remember if I mentioned this is legendary. Um, I tend to, uh, well no, it's my first Legendary playthrough, I haven't reloaded on this. Um, the only reason I'm playing through uh, on Legendary at the moment is because, oh hello boys, um, the only reason I'm playing through on Legendary at the moment, would not Iron Man, is just to learn from stupid mistakes. Even with, is it Commander or Veteran that's level 2? I think Commander, even with Commander it's really forgiving if you do stupid stuff. And I'm also amazing at accidentally double clicking or clicking the wrong thing or having a look around for getting a activated ability and like firing Null Lance at my troops or something when I'm trying to select them. Really clever stuff. Um, so just learning from that and learning from stupid Overwatch mistakes as well. Um, but there's uh, Amazon and Unnamed Sniper Corporal or whatever they are. I don't know why they sent him out. I had plenty of better guys you could have sent command, but no. Anyway, that is pretty much what it looks like. You can see a lot of carnage everywhere. Um, but yeah, the frame rate just becomes unmanageable. There's a gatekeeper in there, uh, but I failed to dominate him, and um, then I was just going to weaken him a bit with the blue screen round and executed him. <laughs> that was a shame. Um, but anyway there are some more bodies. This is one of the other drop-in points here uh, where they come pretty frequently. But yeah, the uh, mod I've got installed is... Uh, actually, it's not a mod here. Uh, I just activated Allow Console and then hit Delete and you can use a gamepad for free camera mode. Uh, but then I got them all out. Uh, 121 killed out of 126. Um, could have gone on a lot longer. But yeah, board and frame rate issues pretty much capped that. I was amazed that actually the corporal who'd been in since the beginning, the sniper didn't get a single promotion. You're supposed to get promotions for assists and stuff, and he got 12 kills. But um, I don't know. Uh, and uh, you can see here I've got uh, Ragtime, my uh, medic, has got a repeater. She's had a repeater since the beginning, and that combined with Guardian means she's had the highest kills of anyone. And she gets shot in the face a lot. Um, also, all the rangers have got balaclavas on because facial scarring. Anyway, that's it for now. On the right, uh, the achievement beginner's luck if you need that. Easy to do end game with war suits and uh, big guns. And on the left, the Assassin's Creed Chronicles India playlist. Um, just for something a bit different. 
Anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye. -bye.